Hello, everyone. Um, I promised you that I will create a video, I will upload a video to show you how to uh, format a Word document uh, when you are writing an academic or professional uh, report. Uh, it took a bit long. <clears throat> it was last week from Thursday evening. Uh, got temperature, cold, and cough. Uh, thanks God it wasn't COVID. Okay, I tested so, and uh, it didn't become positive. Okay, so but uh, yeah, still feeling tired, <laughs> broken voice. All right. So, um, so what I will do, I will very quickly uh show you uh when you want to format a, a word document uh, for your uh academic assignment okay especially which is for report okay uh now let me quickly share my screen i already opened a <laughs> word document Okay, I think you can see it. Just to... Okay, uh, so this is just a new Word document, blank Word document. I haven't changed anything yet. Uh, so what you will have to do, your first thing first is to insert a cover page. Your every report, every assignment should have cover page uh, with required information, okay? So you can put this, the university's name, university logo, okay, like Salford University, Salford Business School, MSC, your program name, uh, module name, uh, module information, okay, uh, um, students' information if required, okay, assignment title. So these are the things in the cover page. So what we'll do uh, to insert a cover page, go to the insert option. Just let me check if you can see it. Uh, yes, uh, there is a yeah, there is uh, yeah, instruction. Okay, go to just insert, and on the left, okay, top left here, you can see cover page. There is a arrow mark, okay, or drop down sign. If you just click here, just select any built in uh, cover page. We will not use it, but the main thing is we are inserting a cover page. So to insert a cover page, we'll have to select from here, then we will edit, okay? So I will just uh, delete this one and delete them, okay? So it's now a blank cover page. Now you can insert our university logo and any other information that you want, okay? The reason for inserting cover page is when you insert page number, it will not start page number from your cover page. And cover page, it treats this is a cover page. It will not mess up with other part of your <laughs> document, okay? So what you'll have to do now, next thing is insert page number. We are in say uh, same option, insert. Then here, you will have to select page number. Same again, drop down sign here at the bottom of the page i will select bottom right corner okay now you can see that's the cover page this is empty the page number and from the second page the page number starts now what is the second thing so cover page done next abstract executive summary or summary okay and now before writing anything what we will have to do change the format okay uh, change the format of the uh, text to change it or modify it we'll have to go here 
So normal is the normal text within the document. Whatever you write, as I said, the normal paragraph, normal um, uh, text. So I will right click here, then select modify. Here, I will change the font to Times New Roman, change the font size 12, font color automatic is already done. Just double checked. Alignment should be justified. Now, what option you cannot see here is the line spacing. And we can see line spacing is multiple here. Okay, so I have to change that one. And to do so, click on format, then paragraph. And here, 1.5. Okay, simple. Okay, and it's done. We will also change the form of heading and subheading. So when we write any title, okay, that should be title. If uh, if any heading, subheadings, okay, they should count as the heading one, then subheadings, heading two, heading three. We will use for this report, which I am writing, okay, it's up to you. There's how many headings you are using, okay. For this one, the example I'm going to show you, I will <coughs> use heading one same again right click modify okay i'll change the form times new roman heading should be slightly bigger than the normal text okay so normal text size is 12 i would select 14 i'll make it bold and obviously definitely change the font color this should be always black ink in your academic writing okay don't use any other color don't worry about the alignment, okay? Uh, because uh, we will use, okay, um, headings in different places. We'll show you. So that's why we are not worrying about it. We'll do it manually. So select, okay. Same heading to modify Times New Roman. And this is heading two. That's why it is subheading. So it will be slightly smaller than heading one and slightly bigger than normal text. Okay, so our heading is 14 and text is 12. So I'll select 13. It's already 13 there. Make it bold, and then automatic, and okay. All right, so heading one to done. Our heading and so heading. So first we did the cover page, then modified the font now second page will be executive summary or <coughs> summary or abstract whatever you write okay it's up to you so i'm writing here executive summary okay i will make this one heading one and i will put, make this one center alignment up to you if you want left to go it's up to you i prefer from the center now executive summary, that's maximum 100 or 150 words. This is not in the word count. These are optional thing, okay? But to you should know a professional report, a good report. Excuse me, guys, okay. Good reports, uh, execu executive summary, okay? That should be uh, not more than 150. 200 words okay it depends on the size of your report though okay so for a small report 150 200 250 words not more than that okay you can see there's a big reports have got like one two page summary an executive summary or summary is actually summarizing your whole report first thing it says is what you uh what is this report what is this for okay purpose and then what it's uh, what he had his done and how okay so any methods you have followed or the report has followed uh, uh to complete the report and what is the finding or any recommendation okay and all this very in brief view. okay so as i said 150 200 or 250 words not more than that and it should be one paragraph we can use uh two or three paragraphs up to you but it's not a lot it's not mandatory for your assignment okay 
uh, it is not within the word count it is not mandatory okay so for example okay executive summary i'm just writing something just a dummy text um cool. Okay, so that's my executive summary. Okay. Now, next page will be content pages. Okay, so it can be one, two, or three pages up to you. Okay, not up to you, up to the report. Okay. Now, what I'll do, give you a page break. So, next page is table of content. Okay, so here I will insert the table. When I will go again and insert, we are already in. Uh, oh, sorry, no, no. Uh, for table of quantities in references. My apologies, okay. So go here, references, then left, top left, top left, my left, okay, on the screen. Well, I don't know is it mirroring or not, okay, but you can see here, okay, table of contents. <laughs> and I will select from here, okay, uh, which one you prefer. I will select this one, table of contents, okay. And it's there. Okay, so this built-in table of contents already have got the heading. Okay, so I will remove this one. And I will make this one heading one. Okay. And you can see that executive summary is already there because we selected it's the executive uh, summary as heading one and it comes to here, okay? Now, second page, oh, sorry, after uh, within the content pages, first one is table of content, second one is, any idea? Okay list of figures then list of tables then list of abbreviations um yeah so these three are uh, or four things make your content pages okay so table of contents then list of figures i will make this one again heading one then list of tables heading one then list of abbreviations heading two and make sure list of abbreviations should be ascending okay uh, sorry ascending order means it alphabetical for example if you are saying maslow's and uh, that's not actually an abbreviation uh, corporate social responsibility okay c s r that is corporate social responsibilities. Okay. Um, um, CD, cultural distance. Okay. CD, cultural distance. Then something else. Um, um, IVR, individualism. No, sorry, indulgence versus 
uh, restraint, okay? IVR indulgence Uh, restraint. Uh, okay. Oh, did I miss uh, the spelling mistake? In um, indulgence versus restraint. Uh, I'll write one more thing. Um, which one? Anything? Uh, restraint. Um, uh, which LTO, long term uh, orientation, okay? LTO, long term orientation. Okay, so I just gave the example. I just show you this, the how to do this ascending thing. They are actually already ascending on the, oh no. This should be on the, um, on the top, okay. But just see how to do it, okay. So go to this one, A to Z, okay. Ascending and okay. Now we can see, okay, CD, it's gone top, then CSI then IVR, then LTO. Okay, space, extra space, okay, long, All right? Clear? Okay, now, if we just update this table, update the entire table, did you see what I did? Okay, I, I clicked on it, okay, let's see, uh, I'll go back, okay? So here, click on this, and then this thing will appear, update table. Click on this, then update entire table, and okay. All right, so first uh, page number one is executive summary, page two, list of figures, list of tables, list of abbreviations. Okay, now list of abbreviations, did we select? Heading two, okay, I'll make it heading one. Okay. Okay. Now your main body. So, let's insert a page break. When we are giving a page break, going to the new page, okay, next page. So, page break here and our first thing is introduction so from here your word counts to start a final word count okay so that's one okay don't make it bullet point it's up to you though but I don't like to make them to bullet point because because when you do bullet point uh, so when you do the bullet points, then every time you put enter, then it will carry the numbers. I don't want that, okay. So 1.0 or just one point, okay. And say introduction. Okay. Introduction very briefly, because there is the word count for your introduction, okay. Just introduce your report for your assignment. But usually, introduction should have like 10% of your total word count of the report. So if it is a 5,000 words word, words report, then 500 word maximum for the introduction. If it is a 3,000 words report, then maximum 300 words for your 
introduction. Okay, so introduction, just introducing and signposting different sections of your report. That is the, your introduction is what is this report about? Okay, no summary. Summary you have done in the executive summary or in the <clears throat> uh, or in the summary part. Okay, this is not summary. Again, I'm telling you, okay, this is about introducing. If you're talking about the company, just give a brief of the company. This report is going to discuss about XYZ company, okay, about this, this, this. <laughs> Yeah. So if I just write something again for report, oh, sorry, for introduction, okay. Okay, so this is too many words. I will just make two, say two paragraphs, okay. This is my introduction. Then, from here, if it is your assignment, have got some tasks, okay? So, right, it's up to you what you want, okay? But I would say task one, okay? Or uh, like this, task one, or just task one. Then what is task one about? Okay, there's a one line or any any heading that's what you want to make. Okay. So the second section is task one. Uh for example, it can be the yes, comparison between um US and UK culture. Just example, because I don't know the so yeah, what is uh, I cannot remember this, what is the task one. Okay, no, because we are not giving this the assignment brief here. We are talking about formatting word document okay so that should be your second section second uh, where actually there's a you are answering if there are any tasks in your assignment okay in your assignment brief um you can say there's the subheadings maybe 2.1 okay um say what to write um different um uh, elements of culture so that's my um, this, um so one subheading okay then in the second subheading i will want to write um models of culture okay then third section is maybe task two and under task two, I will have maybe two more subheadings. Okay, three point one is um, <laughs> um international business strategy. Okay, three point. Two is um, business uh, models, international business framework, whatever it is. Framework. Okay. Just quickly showing you what to do. Make an introduction. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, introduction heading one. This is heading one. 
this is heading two because this is subheadings. This is subheadings two. Task two. This is heading one. And then two. Heading two. Heading two. Okay. Okay, now I will add some uh, lines here. So it's not uh, uh, maybe one paragraph after this. Then a few paragraphs on two point one, two point two, like this. Okay, same again after task. Okay. And finally, <coughs> say number four is my uh, conclusion. Okay. And here, maybe uh, two paragraphs in my conclusion. Conclusion again, that should be not more than uh 100 150 same it does the history it should be there's the uh, sorry did they say 150 no um that's the briefly okay and that should be again there's the 10 percent of your uh total work count okay that's the maximum okay so make it as a yes what you have found and if you want to make any recommendation okay or anything because if your assignment has got does the yes um tasks to answers okay just to answering them in that case you already answered them because there's a task uh, um, uh, based uh, report uh, so in conclusion you just conclude the report by saying but making some conclusion concluding remarks okay um so if I just say this is my conclusion and then references or list of references that should be in the next page. Okay, lots of the student they start uh, after writing the conclusion or after end of the report is started the re and the same page starts really writing the rest of references now. So go to the uh, give the page break here. This should be references okay now again uh i didn't make this one so this should be heading one and my references that should be also heading one okay so so far those things are clear to you guys how to make this a heading subheadings now another important thing is inserting when you are not inserting okay first thing is when you are including any tables and figures within the main text okay within your text they should um, have captions okay so for example <clears throat> in elements of culture you have a figure okay here you want to discuss a figure, so you want to include a figure. Okay, so what I will do, I will just um, um, say insert any kind of uh, figure we want about elements of culture. 
I'm just copying one figure from Google. So, payment of culture and image. Yeah, I've got one copy image, okay. So, this will be my image, okay. And I have inserted here, okay. Now, what I will have to do, uh, go to references, yes. And here you will see an option, insert caption. So insert caption, it says figure one, okay, elements of culture, that's the title of my figure, and then also I will uh, include source of the figure, okay, the source is Okay, I got this one, just, I googled it, okay? So for example, you are not uh, using, you are not uh, getting, you are not including any figure or table from any uh, Wikipedia or anything, okay? It will show, it will have to be from, a, from an academic source. So for example, it is from Hofstede. Hofstede. Uh, 2018 for example okay that's what you will have to do and then uh, we you can uh, select the the CS yeah, so where uh, the position of it okay where it can be okay so below the selected item or above the selected item up to you and um, I'm preferring okay below the selected item so okay and it's here okay now, if it is different color, I don't know what this is. It, yeah, it's not black. Okay, so in that case, you notice that there is a cop caption link. You have to modify and make it black. Okay, you can make it a little bit bigger. Twelve. That's it, elements of culture, sources. So I've got one figure from here. If you want any <coughs> figure for this, for example, okay. Um, say I want to insert iceberg. If you can remember, okay, culture or iceberg, okay. Uh, I'm just Insert here again this figure cultural iceberg model. So, what to do? Select this figure references, insert caption, figure two, the cultural iceberg. Modern um, Swift, for example, Swift two thousand seventeen. Okay, it's here. So that's how you have inserted a caption for the figures we have included. Um, if any um, uh, tables you want to include, okay, very quickly, just a table because table and figure are the two different um, levels. Sorry again. Um, So you want to include a table here for um, 
business environment analysis. So the table should um oh my mistake. I'm I'm looking for a table on the image. Okay. Tables, you will make the table, sorry. Okay, so uh go to insert insert a table and your table for example looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, because environment analysis has got six things, okay, one, two. So environmental analysis is like pastoral analysis, isn't it? So this is B, this is E, this is S, then T, and L. Oh. E, L. And you are talking. Okay, let me just... Okay, so this is how a table looks like that I created and what I'll have to do, insert cache. Okay, so selected the table, go to, uh, sorry, references, insert caption. This is now figure three, you will have to change it. Okay, make it table, table one, business, Mm, sorry, external. This is external environment X. Okay. And you can make okay like source or just say created by author. Source. You can say author. That's it. Or created by also initiative. Okay. Environment uh, analysis. Uh, okay. Sources done. Okay. So this is table one. And it's so. And this is how you will insert caption for table and figures. Okay. Is that clear? I hope so. Okay, if it was in the classroom, I could uh, check there's a yes who understood and who didn't. Um, and so yeah that's all i think yeah you covered table figure heading subheading um uh, okay some references i should also include okay and you have seen there's the how to do there's the in-text citation okay uh like this one okay this is what you will have to do in the within the text oops <clears throat> author's name and year. If it's uh, more than three authors, then at all, okay? And when you will write the list of references, that should be as a full. The way you have to do it is, um, just let me find it out. And so we just copy and paste for some references and do here, okay, book. And the books printed, okay.
uh, list of references, they should also be, um, you know, um, what is it called? Alphabetic order. Okay, so... This is an example. Skip something from journal articles. I could do another one um, from maybe market research, okay? Uh, mental report. <laughs> this is the report, okay? So that's what, okay, at the moment they are not ascending or the alphabetic order, so select them, okay? Can you remember what we did before? Go to home here, A to Z, and then ascending is already there. Then do it OK. And then you can see C, F, L, and F sounds too. OK? It's clear? All right. Now, when you do there's a final uh, uh sorry there's the before your final submission you do all the proofreading and everything okay make sure that the, those things are done okay here update the entire table what you will have to do you'll have to insert list of figures to do so you will have to go to references then insert table of figures here okay so choose this one and you will have to select from here is this figure or table this caption title is figure so this should be figure and okay so your figures are here list of figures are here then list of tables again insert table of figures now it's already table okay and one table we have got all together one table two figures all the headings so headings everything done again just to make to make sure again update entire table okay so you've got your list of tables figures list of abbreviations alphabetic order uh, headings subheadings figures, captions. <clears throat> uh, one thing, okay, I would like to tell you, there's a way you are inserting any, um, including any figures, tables, make sure they are linked within your main body, okay? Don't just put any fancy figure to make it nice. So I found this figure is very nice looking figure. I just included in my report. No, don't do that. We don't want anything irrelevant things, okay? Not we, anyone, okay? So anything that you have included, that should be discussed. Table one shows this. Table one summarizes um, environmental analysis of business. Figure one um, shows what are the elements of culture, okay? So if they are not linked, okay, it means as a, you just included it for the sake of inserted something or don't know that's what is the intention, okay? So don't include something. Don't attach anything which is not relevant, which is not discussed, which is not linked, which is not related, okay? And now you see there's the, if I just make it smaller, okay? Oh, nice professional layout looks. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Well, if any questions, okay, 
ask on the Padlet, um, and email me, email us, okay, ask your seminar tutors, um, uh, text on the uh, via Teams if it's if it's very urgent or uh, don't expect us they instantly I will I will reply or anyone will reply okay we'll try our best but that's another way to get in touch with us okay or any other support there's the library support and other supports are there workshops okay hundreds of workshops are there to uh, help you to develop your academic uh, uh, writing skills okay thank you very much all the best bye now.